Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Purple Rose Crafts. Today we're going to learn how to make this lovely double seed stitch dishcloth. It's a modification for the farmhouse dishcloth video on the channel. We're going to use this lovely gray. We're going to use it when we get to our decrease section. To get started, we're going to grab some of our Handicrafter cotton uh, linked below in the description. I have a partial ball of our Anchors Away and I also have a partial ball of the dark, the gray in the scrub off style. This pattern would work in either option. Now this gray one here, I'm gonna use five millimeter knitting needles and we're gonna cast on today with four and a half millimeter knitting needles. So we're gonna go ahead with the anchors away. So I've made our long tail here and started with a slip knot. We're only gonna cast on four stitches. So this one is plenty long for exactly what we're doing today. If you need a refresher on the long tail cast on, I will link it in the description below, as well as links to the materials we're using for today's video. And now we're gonna cast on just four stitches. There's two, three, and four. We're gonna start our first couple of rows the same way that we did with our farmhouse dishcloth video. So we're gonna knit two stitches and then yarn over and then knit the rest of the row. Now the modification comes when we actually have more stitches on our needles. So we're gonna blast through this really quickly and be back in just a moment. All right, so here we are on row number four. We had seven stitches on our needles at the end of that previous row. And what we've done here is we've knit our first two, yarn over, and then the next one. Now, the pattern is going to be as follows. From this position, we're gonna purl the next stitch, and then if there was more stitches on our row, we'd be knit, purl, knit, purl for the rest of the row until we get to the end with the last three stitches, which I am knitting on every row. I will include the link to the blog post with the written pattern as well. So you guys can check that out there if this gets at all confusing. The next row here, we're going to knit the first two stitches and then yarn over. So bring our yarn to the front, knit the next stitch. So we yarn over here and then knit. And now the next stitch is going to be purl and then knit. And then we have three stitches left. So always the last three stitches are going to be knit. So this time it'll be the last four stitches for this row. So now what we've got happening here is we've got our holes, which is very similar to the farmhouse dishcloth video we did as well. We're just modifying the center section to give us this kind of uh, double seed stitch that we're seeing here over on this gray one. All right, so next row is knit two, yarn over, knit the next one, and then we're gonna finish with our seed stitch. So knit, uh, purl, knit, purl. Yes, I did just match up two purl stitches on this row. That is how we get our double seed stitch. Okay. So don't worry about that. You're not gonna worry about it when we get back to the next row. It'll move position, so it'll be fine. All right, and now we have three stitches left. So that was a purl. Now we have three knits to end our next row. Next row, exactly the same. Knit two, yarn over, knit the next. So our yarn over is our increase. Knit the next stitch to finish our yarn over. And now we're gonna purl, knit, purl till the last three stitches. Purl the next and knit. And now we have four stitches left and we're on a knit stitch, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna knit the last four stitches. So let's do one more row of our increases and then we'll switch over to the gray one where we start doing our decreases. Knit the first stitch and the second. Bring our yarn to the front and back around to the back. Knit the next one and then purl knit purl until we get to the end of the row until we have only three stitches left on our needles. and then knit the last three. This is what we have happening. So it's a little bit hard to see with the variegation, but I really enjoy these colors. So I'm sure once it's a little bit bigger, it'll actually look fine. But what we're seeing here is we've got our, our purl stitches here. We've got some knit ones happening in the middle here and you know, two knits together on top of two purls, which is exactly what this double seed stitch looks like when we're working. We're gonna continue this pattern in this fashion until you get to, basically you want the length of your cloth along the side like this to be your desired 
size. So it could be eight inches, it could be nine inches, it could be 10 inches, whatever you feel like doing. I typically make around nine inch cloth. So for me, nine inches is what I'm looking for. For me on the five millimeter needles, I think that was around 45 or 47 stitches on our needle. And then we're gonna go ahead and start our decreases at that point. You guys can pause the video here, go ahead and work your increases. And then we're gonna start our decrease row. So let's go ahead and start our decrease row. Now it's going to be very similar as well to the farmhouse dishcloth video. We're gonna do the same decreases as we did in that video. All right, so for our decrease row, we're actually going to start it with a two row repeat for this section. So we've started our row off with a knit, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. And now if we look at our pattern here on our left needle, we've got a purl stitch here and another purl below it. So we don't wanna do another purl stitch here. We wanna do a knit to keep our pattern in place. So we're gonna follow the yarn versus pattern for this one. And so this way we're going to start with a knit and then we're gonna purl across our row. And then when we get to the end of our row, we're gonna continue with our last three stitches as knit, knit, knit. Okay, so we're gonna stop our knit purl pattern at that point and just knit our last three stitches as our garter stitch edge. When we turn everything around to go back, it's the same as our original row, except with our decreases, so our knit two together is included. Knit the first, knit two together, Yarn over. Knit two together again. And then we'll look at our stitches again here. So here we have two knits. We have two knit stitches here and then a purl on top of it. So we're gonna go back and do our second purl over top. So vertically down our rows, we're doing two knits and two purls. And horizontally across, it's of course the knit purl back and forth pattern. We're just alternating by one stitch as we move across okay so go ahead and keep going with our decrease rows when you get down to seven stitches we're going to keep our decrease section but we're going to stop doing the purls as well and i'll be right back when we get to that section here we are down to the end of our decreases we're getting down to the last couple of rows here we're gonna end up having about four stitches on our needles at the end, and that's where we're going to go ahead and cast off. This part of our cloth gets really quick, just as the beginning side did as well. And there we are, down to four stitches. So that this is where we're going to go ahead and cast off. So let's do a very simple, just straight knitted cast off. So knit the first two stitches and then loop the first one up and over the second, like so. All right, and then knit the next and pick up the previous stitch and bring it up and over the top. I usually like to hold on to my working yarn to keep that fairly tight just so we don't end up with a whole bunch of really loose loops on the top of our work and do the last one. That is going to be it for our cloth. So now we kind of square it up just a touch because it does get a little bit stretched as we work it but there we are pretty much square. You know if we wet it to block it a little bit, it'll turn out perfectly. So now we have, this looks like a like square, but we actually knit it this direction in the diagonal fashion. And so this is a modification, of course, to our farmhouse dishcloth. 
and it has our lovely, you know, little holes in the side and this beautiful texture in the middle. And that's it for our dishcloth video today. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit the like button below. Want more like this? Check out this video and this playlist. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.